we do indeed. We have a mother hippo with this little baby. Now there's mom popping its head up, and baby is just off to the left hand side. There it is. Hello little one. So you can see he's still staying very, very close to mom. Now I wonder if this is the little one that Brent found during the TV shows. I would imagine that it is, because it looks very small still. But isn't it cute? You can see it's using its mom to try and stay afloat. What you'll find is that they will actually suckle from underwater as well, so maybe it's gone down for a little drink now. She's moved away from other hippos that were close by and she's moved sort of towards the shallows and I wonder if it's maybe just a little bit more shallow that the baby can suckle a little bit easier and that's why she's moved there. You see it getting rid of all the water so when these hippos go underwater there will be water that collects in the ear but the ear actually twists and turns to seal it off and so when they come back up again they've got to just shake their ears out to try and get rid of all that water so that's why you see a lot of ears sort of flapping when they come up out of the water. So Rebecca wants to know, Rebecca in FC that is, wants to know how they suckle underwater and be underwater at the same time. Well, they take a breath, they seal their nostrils, then they go down and they just go and suckle from the mom. As much as you would do it on land, they're just able to do it underwater. There's no real difference. It's just that they're doing it underwater. And the reason why is because it's far less dangerous for her to be on in the water and for the baby to be suckling there than it is on land. There are a number of predators on land that could potentially grab a little baby that's unawares like hyena and leopard and lions whereas in the water the only real thing that could be here would be a crocodile but any crocodile that's stupid enough to get anywhere close to this hippo is going to get a hiding so basically the little one will just seal the ears, seal the nostrils, go down, open its mouth slightly and latch onto the nipple and be able to then drink from there so it's a pretty easy system for the baby. So Laura Moore you're asking if hippos are solitary. Well no they're not. So we have this mom and baby and just to the left of them is the rest of the pod that is close by. So they're just underwater at the moment. We can't see them but they're a little bit further to the left and they're just taking it very very easy there as well. So um, you'll find that they are not solitary animals. The males can sometimes be solitary when they're young and they've been kicked out and they now have got to go find their own area. Oh, the heron's just caught a fish. Look over there, Senzo. I don't know if you can see that heron. It's got a fish in its mouth now. I don't know if it's swallowed it already. Oh, it's already swallowed it, unfortunately. But there was the green-backed heron that caught a little fish, so it had grabbed it and was busy swallowing it. But unfortunately it's swallowed too fast for us. But I absolutely love these little herons. They are my absolute favorite. There we go, just washing it down now. And then these little herons are incredibly intelligent. So you'll find that they sometimes will even utilize things to be able to fish. So what that means is that they will utilize insects or bread or something like that to be able to put it on the water and I know bread sounds funny but I've seen it in places where people are use camps and things like that that they grab bread and then they go to the water and they put it on and as the fish come to feed they then grab those fish. In a system like this they will utilize more insects so they'll grab an insect and they put it on the surface of the water and as the fish comes to eat the insect they grab the fish which is absolutely incredible. So really amazing to watch and it seems like it's eyed out something again. I wonder if it's going to try now it looks like it wouldn't be able to reach the water, but there we go. Did you see how far that neck extends? Absolutely incredible. So it looks like this small little bird, but as it pushes its head out, it's able to grab those fish and extend the neck in an incredible way. Absolutely amazing.